Okay, hi everybody. Um, this uh, video, I'm going to do a, uh, somebody was asking me about the GTN 750. Um, he can't seem to figure out how to get the charts or how to get the airport information. So, uh, I'm going to show you real quick. First of all, the very first thing you do is you go into your X-Plane folder and make sure it's pretty simple here, but make sure that you've got you go into plugins and make sure you see your GTN 750 in your plugins, which is your RXP Reality XP GTN. So you make sure it's in there. Okay, so you got it in your plugins. That's where it goes. So all you gotta do is put it in there. Everything else works. Um, and uh, most of the payware, the newer payware aircraft like uh, Carinado have it installed on the panel. If you don't have a payware aircraft with it already installed, you can go up here and you go into, uh, you look and see if you got your Reality XP GTN in here too, right? And you can use this show window and you can use it, you can downsize this too, right? And you can use it as a uh, pop-up. Okay, so let me go back in there. I'll turn that off as a pop-up. Okay, I've got it ready. Now, this is pretty simple. Um, I've got my GTN ready to go. You use your map. It shows the airport you're at. Wherever you're at, you can see the airport. So we go into flight plan. What I found out with the GTN 750 is... Uh, they only make charts on your air act cycle, your default air act cycle, for the United States. Um, you can put in any U.S. See, here's Kitchener, Ontario, which is in Canada. And you click on the airport in your GTN flight plan. And you see a button here called Way, Waypoint Info. That's where you get the information on the airport. And if there was a chart for this airport, you would click on here. I'm going to show you that in a second. But you got all the airport, all the information for the airport. Here's the runways, and you get the airport in here. You can zoom in and zoom out. It shows you the runways. And I usually don't use charts. I just go with this. Click on it again. Viewport in info. And click on preview. Get the airport again. You get all your frequencies for the airport here, and you got your down arrow and your up arrow, so you can, you can click on, uh, say I wanted this one to go up in here, right, my tower information, all you got to do is click on it. It goes in there automatically, see? So there's all your frequencies. You scroll up and down. And then, uh, you got information on the airport. Tells you the elevation of the airport, time zone, whether they have fuel, where it's located. But you got no charts. But this thing has all the charts, I think, for the major airports in the United States. I'll just pick one. Let's go back here. Let's add a waypoint. So we'll add, uh, well, let's add Lakeland, Florida. I know that one. K-L-A-L. Enter it. And all you have to do is click on it. When you've got it in your flight plan, see if I back up. Here's the flight plan. Click on the flight plan. I've entered it in the flight plan. Click on it. And you get a button. Waypoint info. Click on that one. And now you see charts is lit up. So you can get charts for Lakeland in, in the United States. But the reason I don't use the charts is because if you look, Look at how small they are. You can barely read them. The only way you read them is right click on it and you get the window. You get it, grab the edge right here somewhere. Let me make it nice and big and you can look at it. If you right click on it again, it'll disappear. Right click on it, right click on it. So you can go back and forth to the window view. And then you've got your charts. This is the airport chart. And then you get the approach chart. 
zoom in on that one. But I don't bother with them because they're so darn small. Departures. No chart for the departure. Arrivals. Got your arrival chart. You can hold down your left mouse button and you can drag it around, see? You zoom in and out with your mouse wheel. There's the airport info. Lake Clan is 142 feet of gas. You get your charts. Get your frequencies over here. Use the up and down arrow. Get all your different frequencies. And if they're grayed out, they got no information. Get your procedures over here. Runways over here. It shows you all your runways. Zoom right in and it'll show you your taxiways. And that's pretty much... I gotta get rid of this. Get small. And that's pretty much uh, all the charts that you get is the ones for the United States, like Canada, like I showed you. Wayboard information. No charts. And I don't bother with them. I'll show you here in my X Plane 11 folder. You can make charts and get charts, and they go into your custom. They go into your custom data. There's a charts folder that you can add charts. Now you've got to switch them over to PNGs. I tried one, and I I haven't figured out how to get these to work yet. Um, I should try and figure out how to get them to go, but. Uh, says they're supposed to be PNG but there is a there is some information at the org org at plain org on how to make your own charts right here you can see it on the uh, video here all you got to do is get this address up in here and it tells you how to make charts and how to get them into your X plane and it says here you got to switch them over to PNG and it says somewhere in here you stick them in your uh, you stick them in your uh, charts folder and you notice on here he's got this thing covering his whole screen I haven't figured out how he does that I should send him a message and ask him because I don't know how to do that sorry but as you can see there's a, there's a way to make your own charts so if you want charts for anywhere other than the United States I'm sorry I can't help you with that. Um, all I can help you with is that they go in I've got the US charts. I can see there's Lakeland. Put another one in here. We'll go Chicago Cord. K O R D. Where? Look on Cord. Waypoint information. See, it looks like the US. There's charts for all of the U.S. So anyway, that's where you get all your information for your for your airports. Menu, what's in the menu? Procedures. Runways. for Chicago. So, I hope that helps some of you guys with how to find your information. So, have a nice day. It isn't very long, but at least you have an idea how to look for your charts.